You're watching another episode of When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong. Cornelius Brown, an on-again, off-again church youth, was busy IMing his friends during morning service at Rhoda Gateway Avenue Church of Christ. Making matters worse was the fact that Cornelius had opted not to silence his keypad, thus disturbing the visitor behind him. The sermon that I have decided today is called The Day of Atonement. We're going to be coming from Leviticus chapter 16. Go there now. Excuse me, man. Did you please uh, do that? Hey, my bad, Back up. Ain't nobody even talking to me. Why are you even, why are you even all through mine? Let's just put it away. We are in church. Cornelius should have heeded his friend's advice and diffused an already disrespectful act of defiance. However, he decided to keep it real. Uh, church where you keep it real, right? I'm finna keep it real. He ain't my daddy. What Cornelius didn't know was that the visitor behind him was the recruiter from a Christian university. The same Christian university his parents were considering sending him to. We all say Yay, man. Amen. 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 That was good church today. That was good church today. All right. Very um, happy to be here. We want to bring up our guest recruiter from Oklahoma Christian University. Hallelujah. Some of you may know him yeah. as Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe, Oklahoma Christian University, our guest recruiter. Come on up here. <laughs> Joe, Oklahoma Christian University. You know, I had a presentation about Christian education wow. that I was going to present to you today, but yes. Yes. I feel it more important that I address another issue. Um, I would like to address Mr. I'm not your father. I keeps it real, young man back there. If you go ahead and stand up, for me, please. Go ahead, young man. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Miss, I'm not your father. Go ahead, stand up. Let, no, let everybody take a look at you. Who, who is this young man's father? After Cornelius' father was pointed out, he decided his higher education would be put on hold for a year and shipped him off to Afghanistan on a foreign exchange program. Cornelius Brown, from text messaging to running from bin Laden, yet another example of when keeping it real goes wrong.